Ivy here. And we, what are we making, Ivy? Yogurt. We're gonna make some yogurt. So I've done this uh, a lot before. I haven't done it in a while though. The kids love yogurt. And, um, yeah, they really like highly processed store-bought yogurt. And so we've, we've slowly been working on adjusting our diet to get back to more natural, less sugar-free foods. We got kind of way off uh, when uh, Annie got, uh, Annie's issues got really big, I'll just put it that way, and then we were just kind of always on the run, and I was just too overwhelmed to do some of this extra stuff, and so we were buying a lot Mommy. of prepackaged stuff. Mommy! Yes. I love you too. And that was making not, not only a ton of trash, but a lot of sugar, and so the last year we've been slowly moving back to where we were. Um, with a lot more vegetables in our diet and trying to reduce the sugar. The difference this time, I used to use farm fresh milk from my friend Rachel who used to milk cows, um, but she does not have any that she's milking right now. And our goats, um, our goat is pregnant, so we're not milking her. So I want to try it with 1% milk. I googled it and it says it should work even though it's not full fat. Um, I'm going to let it sit a little longer to really help it get thicker. We'll just kind of see what happens. Um, so we will show you what happens, whether or not it works. So then you'll know too. JJ is just super excited about today. I'm sorry. She is so loud. <laughs> okay, ready Ivy? We're going to make some, we're going to make a gallon's worth of yogurt. It's going to take, um, it's going to take probably about 14 hours from start to finish, but 11 to 12 of those hours are just sitting hours. So. All right, to make a gallon of yogurt, we start with a gallon of milk. Ivy, pour these two milks into our big pot. Why do we need milk? Can you, can you open them up? Ivy's going to pour these in the pot, and then we're going to put You're going to need a thermometer because we have to be precise with the temperature with yogurt. This is my candy thermometer that I bought for making taffy, which that was fun, wasn't it? Ivy? Yeah, do you... If you haven't seen the video, go see it. Yeah, I can link that below. We made old fashioned saltwater taffy a while ago. Make sure you I used to use. Video. Okay. Thank you, Annie. I used to use a meat thermometer. Mom, mom, mom. That'll work fine too. So I'll link this one below if you want a candy thermometer. I really like this because it has a clip on the back so it doesn't fall into your pot. So, Ivy, we're going to clip it on the pot there. Oh, use this. Oh. Unless that pot's too short. This isn't, that's okay. Just kind of lean it in there. There we go. And we are going to put it over lowish heat so it doesn't scald to the bottom. So on the back, let's put it on number four. Push in. Mm -hmm. There you go. Push in and turn number four. You're going to stir it occasionally. Big thing with milk is you don't want it to burn to the bottom because that's going to kill the flavor. We're going to bring it up to 180 degrees, sit it there for one minute, and then we're going to turn the heat off and just leave it where it is um, and let it cool down to 115. I just, I was asking mom if you ever got with a bottle but then there was milk in it. I was mom. trying to show her but and then it spilled all over me. So I gotta change. Mom. We're gonna go do a costume change. What are you doing? You're taking a bubble bath. I'm a bath. It's okay. super big. It is. You're going to break my laundry baskets. No, okay, we're at 176. So we're what, watching it. The last. It just lasts a minute. One more minute, and then we're done. We're going to hit 180 and count a minute. And then and, drop it. And then drop, take it off the heat and let it cool itself naturally. Which takes a lot longer than you would think. So yogurt making is not a quick process. There's a lot of waiting involved. Three, two, one. Come on. 
Why is it on right now? All right, it's got to cool down to 115. It takes a lot longer than you think. I'm gonna guess 40 minutes to get there. So we're just gonna keep checking it. We're gonna stir it every once in a while, keep the skin from forming on the top. We have the quart jars that are clean in the oven, and I've turned the oven on 225 to warm them up. And we're just gonna wait. No more. Yeah. Now what do we do? We have our we have our milk cooled down to 115. We have three tablespoons of our fancy good quality yogurt with all the live probiotics. Um, so we're going to take about a half cup scoop out of here, mix it in here, and then dump it back in, give it a good stir, and uh, put it in our quart jars and have them wrapped up, set in the fridge, or excuse me, set in the oven with the oven off all night. So about 12 hours and they will get nice and thick, hopefully. Hot milk? Yep, two scoops. Oh, in there? Yeah. Oh, can I do this? Take this one. Well, one. Okay, two. Okay, now give it a really good stir. Oh, it's not that chunky. <laughs> So there's no chunkies left. What are you putting in your cups? Okay, now pour it back in there. Is that good? Yep. Okay, and give it another good stir. I think I need a bigger spoon. Full top. I'll tell you when to stop. Just two scoops. All right, lid. Then when you go. Come on, put the top on. There you go. This looks really hot. I'm going to go eat one. I think we're gonna call it a night. Willie will be getting up early again, probably about 5.30. We're gonna get that yogurt out of the oven about then and show you how we're going to uh, make little different yogurt flavor cups for the kids to be able to choose from with some different options for them. So we will see you in the morning. I actually don't know why I use pot holders to take these out. Just have it. They're not hot. They're sometimes slightly warm, but kind of give you the tip test. You can see that's a nice thick, yay, nice thick yogurt. So the 1% milk did work. I'm going to put these in the fridge. Um, and then this earlier. And then in a couple hours, Ivy and I will. Um, add flavorings. We'll show you how we do that. I was just going to do it all myself this morning, but um, church ended up getting canceled, so I slept it a little bit longer. It's nice. And uh, I think Ivy would be disappointed anyway if I did it all without her. So we're going to cool them off, and then we will um, add some flavors here after breakfast. Cubes and I are ready. <laughs> You're here. You ready? Yeah. So we are going to make we're gonna make three different flavors of yogurt to see what the kids like. So I have, I probably can't see that far. I have frozen blackberries from this summer that we picked here on the farm. And we're gonna make a fake, I call it a fake jam. So we're gonna add these, a little bit of sugar and some cornstarch to make it thick. It's cold, isn't it? Oh, cold. It's all stuck together. Oh, so cool take one. Yeah, here we go. Oh, you're gonna eat one? They're cold. Can I eat one? Oh! Can I eat one? It's a big chunk of flo frozen blackberry. Can we eat one? I want to eat one. <laughs> Is it yummy? Now, I don't want to spot. Goobs, what are you making? Oh, awesome. You're doing a good job.
yogurt should technically make 16 pint, half pints of yogurt mixed up thingies. However, I feel like kitchen math never works like real world math. So we'll see how many we actually end up, right? Right, Ivy? So we're gonna put a bunch of scoops of yogurt on top of each of these little mini jars and then put lids on them and store them in the fridge for lunches and snacks and things. So satisfying, huh? Is it plain? It is plain. Can I taste a bit of it? I just did actually. It's on my It's gonna turn purple, right? When you mix it up, it will, but we're gonna store it like this. Alright, we did. Here's our stack. All of them are marked. They're marked so the girls know what they are, but basically just. it's basically just a little bit of jam on the bottom and a lot of plain homemade yogurt on top. And we have honey, strawberry, and blackberry. And we'll That's just keep this you, crate in the fridge. You just mark it with the, the letter it starts with and then we know what to pull out. When we want. That's right. We'll and try we, them in a little bit. And we have plain yogurt that left over so mom says she's going to eat this. Right. I think we could have made three more half pints. So that's how the kitchen math worked out. This. And this is the leftover filling. I mixed the strawberries and the blackberries oh, together. April cobweb. And um, I just washed this cast iron. It's drying out on the stove top here. We'll grease it up and JJ's going to help me make a cobbler. I love cobbler. With that, for dessert. I think I'll like this type of cobbler. I mean, you never like cobbler. I think that's all we're going to film for now. I think that's plenty. <laughs> I have your face is dirty though. Go wash your face. <laughs> uh, we made low-fat homemade yogurt um, overnight, and it was easy. And lots of food now for the kids, and they can get it themselves. And they have flavor choices, and no more plastic cartons and um, things like that from the store to throw away. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.